Hey, gum people. A little night uh, video here. <laughs> Driving back uh, uh, from having a, a drink with my buddy, and I'm looking at this car, and I'm kind of like, he pulled up next to me, and I kind of just want to give up. When you're driving and you're passing, the most critical time you're going to get in an accident or you're exposed is, if, you know, some people will drive right here behind somebody in another lane. If they make a lane change right now, I'm going to be okay. But where I don't want to be is right next to them or in their blind spot. And it drives me nuts when somebody drives my blind spot because you can't see them. So right now, once I pass that rear fender, I'm in a position that if this car changes lanes or makes an erratic or something comes out in front of him, I'm going to get hit. And I'm in his blind spot. So if he wants to maneuver, so, you know, you don't want to drive in this back rear corner of any car because they may not be able to see you and, and you get in a blind spot. So not only do you want to be aware if somebody's in your blind spot, why are they there? Am I trying to pace him? Am I trying to follow him? This car should be nervous right now because I'm keeping the exact distance. And then I'm going to pull up next to it. And this is another place you don't want to be critical. Is that when a car pulls up right next to you like this and they're just coming next to you and they stay equal with you. See, I passed that car. And now I'm going to slow down and it's going to pass me. You don't want to be next to a car a whole bunch like that. You should be aware of somebody's parallel driving on you in this situation. I know it's light. You can't really see. But, uh... I just want to cover that. I'll see how this video comes out. But uh, being aware on who's around you and where you're at will uh, help keep you out of trouble and uh, hopefully make you a little bit better word to react in case something goes wrong. All right, we'll end that there.